everybody, Evan here, and I've got a new video for you. Let's talk OK Computer. The reason I'm making this video is because I felt like it was important to kind of introduce this upcoming lecture series properly, but I didn't want to take the time to do that right before the lecture because I'm trying to keep them short. I want to encourage interaction, Q&A, and I want the very first one to be about one of the topics that I'm going to be talking about. So the lecture series is called OK Computer, obvious Radiohead reference there. This is a lecture series on emerging and trending technology that will have an impact, if it's not already, on the work that we do in the profession that we work in. And it's going to be changing our industry more and more as the years move on here. And so I want everybody in our offices and in our firm to be aware of what's going on out there. So let's start with why. Why am I doing this lecture series? Well, you know, as director of digital practice at HMC, one of my big jobs and one of my big goals is to raise the tech culture at HMC. And so I'm gonna be doing that by making you more valuable, by making you more knowledgeable about these emerging and trending technologies that are affecting our industry. So I want this lecture series to become a resource for you. I want it to be a library of sorts of things that we're tracking. Uh, this is a great time stamp, a great time to do it. So over the next many months, I'm gonna be doing a lecture and I hope that you'll show up. I hope that you'll spread the word. I hope to create a buzz so that this really does start to raise the tech culture and keep that on an upward trajectory. So please bear with me for this long. It's how long this video is. I want to make you more valuable. I want you to be valuable to your team. I want you to be valuable to your peers. I want you to be valuable to your clients. So I want you to show up to as many of these lectures as you possibly can and get a well-rounded idea of what's going on with technology in architecture. So where I want to begin with this little video is let's talk about two kinds of people. Just pretend you know this person. Why do I need a car? A horse is much faster and more reliable. I've been riding them for years. This is the person who not only doesn't know how to drive, they've also never tried it. Then there's some other people that you, you might be aware of. We've got an AI powered digital twin platform operating generative design algorithms backed by smart contracts running on a scalable blockchain on edge computing. So buzzwords, buzzwords, buzzwords. People like buzzwords because impressive. And they think it means show me the money. This is something that you, we're trying to impress people. We're trying to attract people. We're trying to get them to show us the money. And that isn't gonna be accomplished with talk. There's this quote that I heard. I'm not quite sure where I heard it. Um, I've actually used it in some of my talks. It says, there are two things that architects hate, the way things are and change. So a lot of times we're kind of stuck in the middle. We wanna do things better. We want to create change but we also don't want to go through that painful process. It's something I talked about in my last video. Everybody's excited about these new tools and the opportunities that they're going to afford us, but they also need to recognize that it's going to be a painful process to go through that because it makes us work differently. Or even though the gains could be huge, it's painful. So think about it. We are in a time of unprecedented change right now. This is an interesting quote from Graham Wood. The pace of change has never happened this fast before, and it will never be this slow again. I felt like that was a really appropriate quote when we're kind of framing the OK Computer Talks. We have a choice to make. Will we evolve or dissolve? We all have to do this together, and that's a difficult thing to do, and so I'm actually just coming to you, asking you to come learn and let me share what I know with you so that you can not only learn more in the process, but then share that with others and transfer this knowledge out. We cannot hide from the changes that digital is bringing. So I wanna talk about some of those changes. And so there's a lot of buzzwords out there. We talked about buzzwords a minute ago. Check out this word cloud of buzzwords. These are a lot of the things I'm actually gonna be talking about. There's actually more in here that I'm gonna be talking about, so don't worry. But a remedial understanding of these terms is actually dangerous. It's really important that you kind of have a basic understanding and just skimming the headlines is not gonna get you there. You can't underestimate the degree to which digital is disrupting the economic underpinnings of the way that we do business. You also can't overlook the speed at which digital ecosystems are disrupting and blurring the boundaries between industries 
and basically shifting the competitive balance. I wanna talk with you about where we're going. I wanna talk about technological trends that are disrupting and changing our industry. I wanna show glimpses of the future and where we're headed. There's lots of different topics that I'm gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about drones, autonomous vehicles, robotics, augmented intelligence, reality capture, AR and VR, simulation, 3D printing, internet of things, sensors, digital twins, micro mobility, design computation and analysis and digital fabrication. There's a ton of stuff that we're gonna be talking about. Make no mistake, all of these topics are affecting our practice. And I think something that, you know, as the series wraps up and after we go through all these disparate topics, I wanna take one last lecture to start to connect some dots between all of them. And I wanna show you some common threads where things start to overlap because these technologies are converging and that's really where the power is. My goal is to make you more valuable. The more of these lectures that you can come to, the better. Unfortunately, I can't just download these topics into your brain like the Matrix. You actually have to take the time. I know Kung Fu. I ask that you show up and that we have a good conversation about these topics and that you learn and then that you share that information out with other people. So let's come together. I really have some exciting stuff to show you. Let's build awareness and let's sustain our relevance and create a buzz. I am really looking forward to this lecture series. I'm really looking forward to the conversation with you and I'll see you soon. The world is loud. God, this is this is not good.